course picks up on things you'll have seen at school, so things like calculus and algebra. We also cover much more abstract maths, so understanding much more complicated mathematical statements and investigating how you might prove them. And next year we're introducing a new first year module which is called Explorations in Maths. And this is about modern applications of maths, so things like how the Google PageRank algorithm works to, to rank different web pages when you make a search, or cryptography. Then in second year and third year, you move on to some more abstract topics, so things like abstract algebra, things like analysis, which is why calculus works, and more applied topics as well, so probability and statistics, and more cryptography, and um, mathematical modeling. I thought Birkbeck was a great opportunity to just come in the evening. It was quite different um, compared to other unis. Um, there's also like a vibrant student culture. Um, the community is quite close-knit, in particular the mathematics department. Um, you know, I love all the lectures there, the personal tutors, the friends I've made. Um, so I'm really glad I came to Birkbeck. We're actually a fairly small gr a maths group and that means that we have fairly small class sizes too so we get to know all our students individually. There's just eight of us doing maths, uh, six of us are pure mathematicians, we're interested in combinatorics and algebra but actually also applications of that to information sharing and cryptography and two of us are interested in financial maths. Uh, I am one of the directors at a uh, foreign exchange international payments company uh, so a uh, typical week for me would be anywhere between 60 hours to 80 hours, including Birkbeck. Uh, depending on what academic year it is, um, first and second year there will be four lectures uh, per week, uh, whereas for the final year there will be three lectures per week. And it worked out for me because I was doing part-time tutoring like privately, um, as well as doing you know, a part-time job, so it worked around my schedule, which is what I like, so that I could get my degree as well as work on other aspects of my life and become a better person overall. I think all of our lectures are very approachable. We have an evening devoted to each module, and there's always time at the beginning of the evening, or in the break, or at the end of the evening for students to ask questions. We always find our students ask us lots and lots of questions, which is really, really great. We also have office hours, so every lecturer will have an hour when they're available during the week for students just to turn up and ask about anything they would like. And we also have a personal tutoring system. So that's not really so much about the modules, but more about if you have any issues or you need some advice with your course, for instance, which modules to take, or a bit more advice on study skills, or perhaps you've been ill and you've missed some of the course and you need to know what to do, then your personal tutor is someone there to help you with any of these sorts of problems. The hardest thing would be to um, manage my own time, uh, making the commitment to going to the lectures, uh, making the commitment to myself uh, to go through the exercises, to uh, do more questions, uh, uh, study the material uh, more thoroughly. So if you really enjoy maths, then I definitely recommend doing a maths course. Um, you're going to do it for three years, so it is something that you, you really do need to enjoy thoroughly. You also need to be prepared to work hard because by the end of the course you're going to be good at problem solving and working independently and those are not things that are easy to achieve so you need to be prepared to work hard and also to think hard. When you do maths the time when you really learn is when you get stuck and if you can get yourself out of getting stuck then you'll have learned a great deal so you need to be prepared for that. Obviously we'll help you when we get stuck but ultimately it's you that needs to do the learning. My advice would be definitely try to start your work earlier, try to you know, read your notes before lecture and really highlight and star the parts that you don't understand so that when you go into your lecture you, know, you can understand the lecture a bit more and you know where you need to focus or what questions you need to ask um, prior to the lesson. We have students coming from all sorts of backgrounds, so we've got students who are coming straight from school and we've got students who haven't done maths for quite a long time. So I think the main thing is just to make sure you haven't forgotten everything you studied at school. You don't need to remember absolutely everything you did, but just be really good at the basic stuff. There are so many like favourite things. Um, I don't even know where to start off with. Um, probably like my favourite favourite is the vibrant student culture. Um, you know, I love the friends I met here. Um, going out with them, 
uh, working together with them, you know, doing 12 hours of mathematic revision. It wasn't even like a chore, it was more of like fun because of all the resources and everything that were available. It wasn't just work, like you're doing equations. It was, it made it, you know, but made the work so much easier. I'm tremendously grateful uh, for the opportunity that I had both at my company and at Bergwerk. Uh, because it is a, a, a unique experience that um, I, I don't think any other university provides.